the uh, calculating the pH uh, of a weak acid. So for the strong acid, we can assume the uh, concentration of hydronium is the same as the concentration of the acid because of that 100% ionization uh, that uh, strong acids do. For weak acids, we know that's not going to be the case. Weak acids set up what? Equilibrium. And so they're going to make some hydronium for sure because they're an acid, but not 100%. Right? So essentially what we're going to do is figure out how much hydronium they make at equilibrium. And to do that, what we're going to do is essentially what the problem usually is going to give you is like, what is the pH of concentration? This is my initial concentration of the uh, weak acid. Then once it starts reacting with water, it's going to produce some equilibrium, an equilibrium concentration of hydronium. So if I have some in information about initial concentration, and then maybe some equilibrium concentration I'm looking for, what do you think I'm going to need? Ice, ice, baby is exactly correct. We're going to need an ice table. All right. So, and because, because, you know, they set up the equilibrium concentrations. So for weak acids, the first thing you need to uh, realize is that the concentration of the weak acid, the Y, I mean, that's a, it does not equal the concentration of the hydronium. So we're going to have to figure it out. All right, so for our ice table, we're going to need to think about what our equilibrium equation is. So here we got HNO2, nitrous acid. And what do acids do? React with H2O. And they're, they're going to donate, good. So it sets up equilibrium, it donates, makes hydronium, plus whatever is left over, the NO2 minus, the, other, the anion. So when we were writing the generic equation, we just say HA huh, uh, plus water makes hydronium plus the A minus. Well, in this case, the A minus is NO2 minus, the nitrate polyatomic ion. All right, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's make our ice table. So we're given our 0 0.200 0 molar initial concentration of the acid. We're eventually going to put it into our equilibrium expression, which is going to be Ka, always going to be our products, hydronium, times nitrite, all over HNO2, and times water. No, that's it. Yeah, water is in liquid phase. Not, so in our ice table, we're really not going to need to worry about that, right? Shh, shh, shh. <coughs> All right, so we are going to need to fill out the rest of this table, though. And we can start off with our initial line. So initially, before... Nitrous acid donates protons. What's going to be my concentration of hydronium? Zero. Zero. Well, technically it's about zero. Because there is autoionization of water. So even at you know, neutral water, the hydronium is 1.0 times 10 to the negative seventh. That's where we get pH 7. So there is some hydronium there, but that's such a small concentration, it's not going to impact this calculation. So I'll just say about zero. But it's not zero. I'd, I'd be lying to you if I put zero there, and I would never lie to you. And then what about nitrite? Zero. Zero. That is zero. Wow, zero. No, that would be zero. Mm -hmm. right. Unless you had nitrate from another source. Okay, what's going to happen to the concentration of nitrous acid once it starts donating protons? Minus. It's going to go down. We don't know how much, so X. 
What about hydronium and nitrate? Nitrate. Plus X. Plus X. Okay, so been there, done that. We've done this before, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, 0 0.200 minus X, 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 and I'm going to plug this into there. I am going to need to know the Ka for this acid, so let's go look that up. And I really wish that was closer. So nitrous acid, HNO2, 4.6 times 10 to the negative fourth. So I would, of course, give you that in the problem, right? So Ka equals, what was it again? 4.6 times 10 to the negative Thank you. I did not want to have to go back all the slides again. It's tiresome. Okay, 4.6 times 10 to the negative fourth. All right, so let's input these values. Hydronium times x all over 0 0.200 minus x. x times x is just x squared, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll make that a little bit simpler. Uh-oh. We've got an x squared, an x. We're going to need a quadratic formula. Well, what, so the x? What, the ka is small. Could we possibly do x is small approximation? Hmm, I'm glad you reminded me of that. OK, so yeah, if the ka, 4.6 times 10 to the negative fourth, is that a big number or a small number? Small number, so what's that mean? Uh, is that going, are we going to have a lot more products or more reactants if Ka is small? So we're going to have the bigger number on top, bigger number on the bottom. Bottom. So we're going to have more reactants. So essentially, we're not going to make much hydronium because it's a weak acid in comparison to the original concentration. So yeah, we should be able to do the x is small approximation because subtracting a small number from a much bigger number isn't going to impact the calculation. And so yes, we can do the x is small. And again, when you do that, you have to write x is small, small, and exclamation point. It needs an exclamation point. Which I, this is, this is a lot better when I just usually use paper. Because I can write smaller in paper than I can with the, the notepad. And plus I can use the document camera to zoom in, and that's fun. I mean, I could zoom in here, I think, sometimes. Yeah. All right. So that cleans up my algebra a little bit. Mm -hmm. Equals. So actually, let's just take this up here. So now I've got Ka equals x squared over 0 0.200. Why don't we put the Ka just to the number 4.6? You can. I usually do my algebra first, and then I plug it in. Uh, you can plug it in right now, and then start doing your calculations. Up to you. Your call. All right. So let's multiply both sides by 0.2. So then I get x squared equals 0 0.200 times Ka. Then what do I need to do? Square, square root of both sides. So x, the square root will take care of that square. And then I got square root of 0.200 times the Ka. Now I'll plug in that number. 0 0.200 times 4.6 times 10 to the negative fourth. And then we plug that in our calculator, and then we hit enter. 9.6 times 10 to negative 3. Thank you.
All right, so that is x. But what are we looking for in this problem? pH. And so really, for our purposes, this is x, but it's really just we want to know the hydronium. That's what we want or after. So that can equal our hydronium. And that is, of course, in molarity. And now that I know my hydronium concentration, I can now calculate my pH, right? pH equals negative log of the hydronium equals negative log of, I just calculated it, 9.6 times 10 to the negative third. Two point zero? Two point two zero? Two point zero two. Two I'll take either one. And so that is my pH. I really want to highlight it. Two point zero. Okay, so that's the uh, way that we uh, calculate the pH of a weak acid. Essentially, what it is, it's just a nice problem. It's a nice table problem. We're going to use the Ka, the equilibrium constant, to uh, solve for the equilibrium concentration of hydronium. And so we're getting pretty good at those, so it shouldn't be too difficult. But the one thing uh, I did want to go over in this uh, section was uh, how do we know if that x is small approximation that we did down here and is now highlighted is a fair approximation or a good approximation or a good assumption, okay? It, there, is, there will be scenarios where we can't do it, where x isn't uh, small enough, where the Ka isn't small enough relative to the um, initial concentration. And so what you can do is calculate a percent error. All right? And the reason why I wanted to do it here instead of last chapter and talk about it, because it's also the same calculation for the percent ionization. Isn't that exciting?